Hi, my name is Bob Mayhew, and I'm an 18-year veteran with the GTAC. In this video, I'm going to describe how to configure trunk ports using NetSite Console. I have one device model for simplicity. You can actually perform this action on multiple devices at the same time if you like. What I'll do first is highlight the switch, change to the VLAN tab, and then I'm going to retrieve the information from the switch because I know I currently have the VLANs configured on that switch. What I'll do is I'll merge those VLANs into the VLAN model within NetSite. Once that's done, I'll start the VLAN editor. You can have multiple VLAN models, so in this case I only have one. I'll select the primary model, and we want to actually create a port template. In this case, I'm just going to create a trunk, uh, name it trunk. Next step is to configure the egress states for the VLANs that are listed here. You can do that by putting, placing a check in the Configure Egress State box. We can then select multiple VLANs, right-click, and set those as tagged. I would suggest not using the Make Q Trunk Port uh, button. What that'll do is basically define all the VLANs that can possibly be created on that switch. It's just unneeded information that does not need to be uh, pushed out to the switch at this time. Once we have the VLANs configured how we want them, we'll just save that template. Notice that it is now part of the primary VLAN model as well. To apply that template to the switch, we want to change to the advanced port radio button. I suggest retrieving the information again on the switch just to make sure that that is the switch that we will be setting on. We want to make sure that the, the VLAN model is correct since we only have one. It's going to be the primary model. Then we want to change the port template to be the trunk port. Notice how everything is unequal since we do not have this port template applied to any port. In this case, I'm going to select port 24 and then I'm going to apply that template. NetSite will then go out, recreate the switch to get the information back, and notice that port 24 is now set as a trunk port. If you click the details, you can find out which VLANs are being egress and what the state they're in. And to confirm that, we'll just tell that into the switch. and we can see that those VLANs that I had selected are now tagged on that specific port. Thanks for watching. Please call one of our GTAC 800 numbers for assistance with this or any other NetSite console issues. Feel free to ask for me and I'll be more than happy to assist if I'm available. More information is available at our website in terraces.com support.